Pritchard. Any chance you're still there? Jensen, my god. You've been offline for days. Where the hell are you? I was hoping you'd tell me. I'm pinging you now. You're in... Singapore. Something's wrong, Jensen. I pinged you, and a second later I lost your GPL signal. It's like you disappeared into a black hole. Gotta be a jammer. Well, obviously. If you can find the transmitter and take it offline, I'll be able to track you. And keep you on a tighter leash. I've got more important things to do than help you keep tabs on me. If Megan and her team are here, there's no time to waste. Adam? Adam Jensen? Good grief, lad. What the blaze has happened to you? I made the mistake of surviving. I'm here to get you out, Dr. Faraday. I told the silly that Seraph wouldn't stop looking. Sevchenko's dead, Dr. Faraday. I'm sorry. I figured as much. One day, he was just gone, and they wouldn't say why. We were all afraid, so we just kept to the work. They forced me to create a signal pattern that could broadcast software upgrades directly into a person's implanted circuitry. Upgrades? That do what? Whatever instructions have been encoded into them. They said it was to improve efficiency at clinics, but that wouldn't be the only application. Far from it. I see. And the rest of the team? Are they alive? Oh, yes. Nia and Eric are here. And Megan as well, although she's being held in a secured zone. Getting in there will be impossible with the guards patrolling. A distraction might encourage them to leave the area. Say, an incident in one of the labs. A ah, bold plan, my boy. But one small incident would never be enough. No, you're right. But three simultaneous accidents might. <laughs> I like your style, son. And it just might work if you can get Nia and Eric to agree. But timing them to occur at once, that will be the trick. I'll worry about the timing. For now, sit tight and wait for my signal. There's one thing you're forgetting, lad. They can track our GPL signals. I thought as much. But we have no choice. There may be something. Vasily wanted to upload a virus onto their security network, disable their GPL protocols. Eric or Nia might know more about it. Gotcha. Just be ready. When you feel your GPL vibrate, set off that distraction. Understood, lad. But do be careful. I told you people not to barge in here. Wasn't the new biochip design enough? Dr. Koss, I'm here to get you out. Jensen? From Sarif? But we were told we'd been written off. Not exactly. Listen, Jensen. They forced me to work for them. I didn't want to create the new biochip, especially since it was based on Sarif's research, but they didn't give me a choice. No one doubts your loyalty, Dr. Koss. Do you know what they plan to do with this new biochip? I'm not sure. They said something about having Tai Young Medical produce it and distribute it through Lim, but I, I can't be sure. I know, and I'm here to bring you all back. But to reach Megan, I need you, Colvin, and Faraday to stage lab accidents as a distraction, simultaneously. Isn't that a little risky? Besides, how will we coordinate these accidents? Uh, it's impossible. Maybe not. But it's that or staying here and eventually ending up like Dr. Sevchenko. They killed him, didn't they? He, he kept provoking them, coming up with these wild escape plans. They try to keep us apart as much as possible now. All right, Mr. Jensen. I'm with you. What's our next move? We need to disable their GPL tracker. I know Dr. Sevchenko was working on something. Yes, a, a virus program. We all thought it was too risky considering we had nowhere to go. But I don't have it. You'd better check with Nia or Declan. Sit tight, Dr. Koss. When you feel a vibration from your GPL, set off that distraction. That'll be the signal. I will. Good luck, Mr. Jensen. And hurry. Fire! 
Hostile on the run. Hostile on the run. Who the hell is that? Oh! Get the hell out. This lab is off limits to you people. Nice to see you too, Dr. Goldman. What? Wait a second. I know you. You were Seraph's security guy. Way to protect our asses. Hey, check the attitude, Doc. I nearly died trying to save you. Oh, and now you're here to take me back. Well, maybe I don't want to go. Maybe I've got more here than I ever had at Seraph. Would Vasily Sevchenko agree with that? They executed him and dumped his body in a ditch. That's not true! Believe it. Unless these murderers have you so brainwashed, you don't mind building their toys. It wasn't a toy. It... It was a software upgrade that limits functionalities in a biochip. They told me it was for crowd control. Is Vasily really dead? You saw the body? What was left of it? Oh my god. I should have listened to him. Dr. Coven, if we can distract the guards, I may be able to reach Megan. Some staged incidents in the labs would do it. I've spoken with the others. Declan and Eric. Of course. Interesting idea, Mr. Jensen. Ambitious, but risky. The timing will be critical. I'll coordinate the attack. But you understand that this could all backfire. I'm no shrinking violet, Mr. Jensen, but there may be another issue. The GPLs, I know. I don't suppose you have a copy of Dr. Sevchenko's viral program. I see the others filled you in. Here, upload it to the central security computer and it'll scramble the scanners. They won't be able to track us. This compound is pretty big, Doc. Where exactly do I find the security computer? There's a tunnel near the back of the compound. I believe it will take you to the machine. At least that's what Vasily said. Perfect. For now, just stay put. Once I upload the virus, it'll be time to act. I'll signal you. Your GPL will vibrate. I'll be ready. Pritchard, are you still tracking the scientists? Of course. Simulate feedback along that route. Make it strong enough to vibrate their implants. They have to feel it. A signal, eh? Not bad, Jensen. I'm sending it now. Your tenacity, Adam Jensen, is really quite irritating. We'd like you to stop now. I'm afraid I can't, so... You see, I figured it out. I know what you and your conspiracy buddies are planning. Do you? How clever. A new biochip. A software upgrade that limits what augmentations can do. You're creating a kill switch. You kidnap Megan Reed's team to do it, and you're seizing control of the market to ensure it gets distributed. All because you're afraid of people like me. Augmented people, with the power to resist you. No one's afraid of you, Mr. Jensen. All your blundering around and childish interference hasn't stopped a thing. Tell me, have you been to a limb clinic lately? <laughs> Oh, yes, Mr. Jensen. You figured out our plans, but not soon enough. Dispose of him, Namir. And this time do it right. You should have stayed dead, Jensen.
To be honest, I thought I killed you the first time. Do you realize how hopeless this is? You will not leave you. This is as far as you go. Will you leave me to her, Jensen? Now that the end is near? Like a blind man! Even when I heard that you did, I did a chance. Look at you, jumping at shadows like a scared child. You lost a good man. Finish it. Not until you tell me where Megan is. You've lost her, Jensen. Men like us, we never get back the things we love. Jaren, is that you? Not exactly. Adam? Oh my god, Adam! It's you. You're hurt. What happened? What happened to you? I risked my life for you, Megan. I came halfway around the world, and for what? It's not what you think. Are you part of this? No! No, Adam, I swear it! The kidnapping was real. The attack on Seraph Industries, they came after me. They wanted my research. And when did you decide they could have it? It didn't happen like that. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. I couldn't! And then David said we had to use it. We owed it to mankind. David? What are you talking about? My great discovery. The genetic framework I found that makes it easier for living tissue to bond with implants. I found it. In you, Adam. I used your DNA. I wanted to tell you, I swear. But David convinced me what it could mean for mankind. How much better off we could all be. It took Hugh to make me see how wrong I was. Hugh? Hugh Darrow. He owns this facility. After Namir brought us here- Richard! Patch me into Seraph, now! Adam, please! He was only pretending to work with Tai Young and the others. He found out what they were planning to do and told them he would help. But only to make sure they never succeeded. Their control signal won't work. But it does work, Megan. Zhao damn near shut me down. No. No, that can't be true. Have I ever lied to you? I'll reset your software. It'll put things right again. Oh! I've insulated your chip to prevent external signals from reaching it. It's something I developed recently using nanotechnology. Thank you, David. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Saraf here has asked me to show the world how human enhancement technology can change it. After careful deliberation, I've decided I must do exactly that. Forgive me. Oh God, he's modified the control signal. 
Anyone with the new biochip will be affected. You never said anything about this. I'm going back for the scientists. No, Adam! I know the complex better than you. I'll find them. There's a hangar bay through there. Get to its control room and retract the roof. Clear a path for us. I'm getting my team out of here. You have to go to Panchea and stop Hugh. You and I aren't done with this, Megan. I know how it looks, but you have to stop the broadcast. I think it's causing the new biochips to overstimulate the vagus nerve, creating terrifying hallucinations. You mean it's driving augmented people insane? Yes, and it's up to you to stop it. Use the Leo shuttle. It will take you to Panchea. Good luck, Adam. Jensen. Jensen, can you read me? Barely. I've reached Panchea, Pritchard. Any word from Sarah for the UN delegates? Nothing. The installation went into lockdown shortly after Darrow gave his speech. I can't tell if anyone's even alive. And the signal's still broadcasting. Meaning no one's safe till I get in there and shut it down. You'll have to disengage the lockdown first. Look for a master control panel at the top of the tower. Richard, Panchea's broadcast center is at the base of the station near the bottom of the ocean. Is that right? But the lockdown caused all the blast doors to seal. You won't be able to go down until you override the magma. From up in the tower. I got it.
I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Darrow? Or just unwilling to face what you've done? Oh, I know what I've done, believe me. I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. But human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. Destroy it, and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? Killing his own monster? Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. Now. You can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Pancea's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. You cover it up with all that pretense about saving the world, try to justify it. But deep down inside, you're nothing more than an angry child. Spiteful, full of hate, envious and bitter. How petty is that? Petty? I was betrayed by my own genetics, ruined by my own flesh. What right do you have to condemn me, to curse me? All I ever wanted was to build something good, something magnificent. And now, there's so much blood, so much blood. I... I will give you what you want, Mr. Jensen. Codes to shut down Panchea's security system. But you'll still be in danger. Much of the system is self-determining and lethal. When you see it, maybe then you'll understand. The technology I created will not be the future any one of us desires. Please, help the world understand that. <laughs> 